Our next stop here of the Husqvarna In-State Tour took us to Omaha Creighton Prep, where head coach Tim Yonk had one of the younger teams over his entire coaching career this past season, and he's looking forward now to building here in 2024. Well, but one of the other things is we were, it's in my 25 years being a head coach, that was the youngest team I've ever had. Um, we lettered five freshmen, which at Creighton Prep, that's almost unheard of. Um, so, you know, we, we had a small senior class, um, really good football players in that senior class, you know, with Michael Burt and those guys. But, uh, um, you know, the one thing we did is we grew up and we had to grow up pretty fast. Um, we have a lot of really, really good young football players in our in our program. Um, a lot of guys that, you know, got got a lot of time this this, uh, you know, this season. Um, I'm excited about where we're going. I'm excited about our future because, um, you know, we've 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 taken our lumps a little bit we've got a little scar tissue in terms of our our varsity scar tissue so um i think our guys are excited they've had a great off season and i think it's a um it's a it's a team that i think uh will will compete and compete at the highest level in the next uh, next year the junior jays will open the season against a regional powerhouse program in st louis as they'll take on to smet jesuit who features several division one prospects they got beaten the semifinals last year in the largest class and uh have some tremendous football players um, you know, this is a game that we've tried to get since I've been at Creighton Prep in the seven years I've been there. We've tried to get some outstate school, especially a, another Jesuit high school. And so this year it just happened to line up really well. Um, we're going to go there next year for the first game. On It's going to be a Saturday afternoon game at 1 o'clock. And, uh, and then they'll, they're going to return in 25 uh, to, to Creighton Prep and play an afternoon game the next year. Could be like an annual thing for prep to kind of get involved in the Jesuit series game. Like uh, yeah, this. I think so. I mean, it's a it's a game that you know between them, between Rockhurst. I mean, those are the games and those are the teams that we've really looked at um, over the years to to do that with. And we'd love to make it a an annual deal for uh, for our program. And as I mentioned, prep was a very young team in 2023. This upcoming season, they'll be led by edge prospect Sean Screedlack. Um, he's, he's super athletic. He's really a great technician. He's got long arms. Um, he's grown a great deal. And even in the last probably six to eight months, uh, you know, since our season was over, um, uh, sm super smart kid, can both play inside and outside because he's got that versatility to play on the edge or also play interior. And so he's been a great leader for us. He was a great leader for us on, on the D-line last year. Um, leading a lot of really young guys and uh and so he's been nothing but uh, unbelievable this off season so far oh uh, i think overall we had a young team but uh i think we uh had a pretty good season it wasn't how we like to end it i guess lost first round playoffs i think me as a player i got a lot better from the start to the end I think as a team, we've grown through the year and we're going to keep growing over the offseason. As a junior, Screed like had 76 tackles total, 17 tackles for loss, and two and a half sacks. He was an All State Honorable Mention nominee, and he's receiving Division I attention from a number of different regional programs. Uh, a lot of them just want me to come out and camp with them. A couple of them, uh, a few of them made visits down to prep. Uh, they just kind of want to see me and how I'm growing over the summer and then uh, go from there. Young's program also have a very young offensive line prospect to build around as Aubrey Ross in the class of 2026 is definitely worth keeping your eyes on. He started left guard for us. I mean, and, and we started two sophomores on the offensive line in the Metro last year against our schedule. And, and again, those are the those are some guys that took their lumps because it's tough. But uh, um, he's a guy that I think gained so much confidence. He really played good football at the end of the year for us. Um, I know Iowa's got some interest in him. They're having him over for a, for the spring game. And, and so there's there's a lot of people that have talked to him just because of, of who he is. I mean, he's a nearly 290 pounds, I think, right now as a, as a sophomore. He just turned 16 years old. So I think he's got a really bright future and really going to be a mauler on our offensive line. Veteran quarterback Tony Coniglio also returns here for the Junior Jays as he'll take over the starting job here for the second season in a row. Yeah, he started the last half of his sophomore year, so two years ago. And so he's going to be a, a guy that has a year and a half of starting experience under his belt. Um, again, leading a, a really, really young offense last year. He did a great job with that. Um, 
is going to have a really, really good senior year. We're going to be much older, much bigger and stronger up front, which will help us a great deal. Uh, we return nine starters back on offense and defense. Um, but, uh, but Tony has got ability and he's got the it factor. He, you know, he may not have the measurables in terms of height and stuff like that, but man, he, he makes plays. He's, he's really smart in terms of playing the position at quarterback. And, uh, and so I, that growth we've seen over the last year and a half, I think we'll even see a greater this year. And then finally, wide receiver Jackson Wurgler in the class of 2025 will be a guy to watch. He's probably the fastest player here on Prep's roster. He's run 52 seconds in the 400-meter dash, and there's no doubt he'll be a speed threat down the field. Great track kid. Really, it started at wide receiver for us. He'll be able to run by everybody. I know he is in the off season here. They do a lot of flying tens and those kinds of things. And he is his his ability to run and run run by people is uh, really improved. I think he's gotten bigger and stronger, and that's helped him a ton. Um, he's just one of those kids that has to believe that he's that good. I think he lacks a little self confidence sometimes, but he I think he's getting better at that. And I think he's really grown in that area. But I think he will be a really difference maker for us on, on the edge for us. On, on offense. Reporting here with Creighton Prep at the In State Tour, I'm Sean Callahan for HuskerOnline.com.